Welcome! In this video, we will review detailed steps for mixing and administering a tryptidor tryptorelin injection. Tryptidor is a gonadotropin releasing hormone, GNRH, agonist, indicated for the treatment of pediatric patients two years of age and older with central precocious puberty. Step 1. Prepare the pre-filled water diluent syringe for reconstitution. Use the appropriate aseptic technique to prepare and administer tryptidor. Screw the plunger rod into the barrel end of the pre-filled sterile water diluent syringe. To remove the cap, twist to separate from the lure lock on the syringe barrel. Next, firmly attach one of the 21 gauge sterile safety needles onto the pre-filled sterile water diluent syringe with a push and clockwise twist. This 21 gauge needle will only be used for reconstitution of the product. Step two, inject the water diluent into the vial and reconstitute the solution. Remove the plastic flip off from the vial and disinfect the visible part of the stopper. Next, pull back on the safety cover toward the syringe and away from the 21 gauge needle. Then, pull the clear needle shield off. Once you remove the needle shield, insert the 21 gauge needle through the stopper. Inject the sterile water diluent into the vial, ensuring the diluent rinses the sides of the vial. Do not release the plunger rod during this step. If the syringe plunger is not maintained in position, it will naturally withdraw product into the syringe. Next. Thoroughly mix the vial with agitation for 30 to 60 seconds, ensuring the diluent rinses the sides of the vial. Before moving on to the next step, visually check that the suspension appears milky and homogeneous without any visible aggregates or precipitates. If the suspension does not appear milky and homogeneous, continue with agitation. An up and down agitation can also be used to help eliminate aggregates or precipitates. The complete and homogeneous milky suspension of the product may require up to 60 seconds of agitation. The suspension will sediment very quickly, so it is imperative to withdraw the suspension into the syringe directly after suspending the product in the vial. Once mixed, proceed to the next steps and administer immediately. If the sequence of steps to prepare the suspension is interrupted or the vial is put aside, the suspension will start to separate into dilutant and microgranules. Step three, withdraw the suspension into the syringe. Invert the vial and move back the syringe in order to position the end of the 21 gauge needle near the level of the stopper, making sure the needle lumen is still completely in the vial. Next, pull back the plunger rod slowly to withdraw the reconstituted product into the syringe, withdrawing as much of the reconstituted product into the syringe as possible. Move the tip of the needle at the level of the stopper to be able to withdraw a maximum amount of suspension. Once the suspension is drawn into the syringe, remove the needle from the vial and push the safety cover forward toward the needle until you hear or feel it lock. Then, remove the first 21 gauge needle by grasping the needle hub to disconnect the needle from the syringe and discard it. This first 21 gauge needle will no longer be used. Step four, administer suspension. Firmly attach the second sterile needle onto the syringe with a push and clockwise twist and pull back the safety cover towards the syringe. This 21 gauge needle will be used for administration. Tryptidor must only be administered with a thin wall 21 gauge needle. Inspect the suspension visually for particulate matter and discoloration. The suspension should appear milky and homogeneous without visible aggregates or precipitates. Do not prime the needle if the suspension does not appear milky and homogeneous. If the suspension does not appear milky and homogeneous, continue with an up and down agitation. 
If the suspension appears milky and homogeneous without visible aggregates or precipitates, then prime the needle and administer the suspension immediately. Only prime the needle immediately prior to administration of the homogeneous suspension. Inject the patient intramuscularly with the milky and homogeneous suspension, preferably in either the buttock or thigh, using the entire contents of the syringe.